and we are going to use the ratio theorem to solve our problem. So the question reads, a point Q divides AB in the ratio 7 to negative 2. So this is external division. Given that A is negative 3, 4 and B is 2, negative 1, find the coordinates of Q. So first of all, we interpret this as follows. So we're going to have from A up to point Q, we are told that is 7 units. And then from Q to B, so the negative shows that you're moving in opposite direction. So we move two steps up to point B. So with that interpretation, we can now apply the ratio theorem. So AQ, first of all, to UB is what we are given as 7 to negative 2. So in order to apply the ratio theorem, we are going to use it in calculating the position vector of point Q, which divides A and B externally for this case. So in order to get the position vector of Q, we are going to have it as OQ. And applying the ratio theorem, we are simply going to have negative 2 over the sum of 7 and negative 2. So that is a total of 5 times the position vector of A, and that is given as OA, plus 7 over the sum, which is 5, times the position vector of B, and that is O B. So, we know that O A is given by, so the coordinates of A, uh, we should note that we are given as negative 3, 4, and B is 2, negative 1. So what you're looking for uh, is the coordinates of point Q. So first of all, OA as a position vector will have the column vector here is negative 3, 4, and OB will be 2, negative 1. So the column vector. So finally, applying this, we'll have OQ. So we apply it right here. OQ is equal to negative 2 over 5 into OA, which is negative 3, 4, plus 7 over 5 into OB, which is 2, negative 1. So multiplying by the scalar, we're going to have negative 2 over 5 times negative 3. So that is 6 over 5. And then negative 2 over 5 times 4. So that is negative 8 over 5. For both cases, we are going to add what we have right here. So 7 over, 9, uh, 7 over 5 times 2. So that is 14 over 5, and here we're going to have 7 over 5 times negative 1, so that is negative 7 over 5. So this should be, this plus this should be 20 over 5, and that is 4. Then here we have negative 8 over 5 plus negative 7 over 5, so that is negative 15 over 5. That should give us negative 3. So that finally, we have OQ OQ is given as 4, negative 3. And because we're interested in 
find Q. So the coordinates of Q, we're told to find the coordinates of Q. So as a point, this is written horizontally as 4, comma, negative 3. So this finally is the answer to the problem. Thanks for your patience. See you next time.